good looking. Today is leg day, baby cake. Woohoo! We are gonna hit the thighs, the outer hips, the inner thighs, the glutes. It is going to be awesome. Now you wanna stick around to the very end of this workout as well because I have an amazing glute band finisher. Now you need some tools for this workout. So here, listen closely. I want you to grab a pair of heavy dumbbells. We need a glute band as well. However, this could be kind of done without the glute band. And then you need something sturdy to step up onto, like a bench, a stair close by, or a chair. Yes? Yes. Now, hey, before we go warm up, I'm wondering, would you like more workouts for the over 40 body? Are you aiming to be your fittest and fiercest at this time of your life? then awesome, I would love to help you. Hey, click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and we could be a team, baby, you and I. Yes? All right, let's go get warmed up. Hello there, hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com, and I'm here to give you a leg workout with my buddy George. <laughs> Yes, my dogs are in the house, so it's gonna get a little rowdy. Hey, listen, let's get warmed up, and then I'll chat with you about what the workout is all about and what I'm about as well if you haven't worked with me before. Let's start with a wide squat, toes turned out, drop the bum all the way down, and then drive up, squeeze the booty, come on up. Perfect. Now first, a little backstory about me, so you know that you're getting a workout by someone who kind of knows what she's doing. <laughs> Anyways, hey, listen, I've been in the fitness industry for almost 25 years now, personal trainer, fitness instructor, coach, studio owner, and I am over 40 myself, so I decided to start a channel for us over 40 gals because our goals are a little different than when we were in our 20s and 30s. With that said, though, if you are in your 20s and 30s, you're the more than welcome to join in on this fun. And I'll also give you a heads up of what you're about to get into when you head into your next couple of decades of life. <laughs> Now today's workout is, it, it's intense, but I will show you how we can peel it back if you're not ready for the more intense moves, and then you can always drop down in dumbbells, right? That's kind of the easiest way to decrease your intensity when strength training. Four more, four, three, two, one more, one. All right, feet hip width apart, I'm gonna go this position. I want you to push your booty back, knees soft, see if you can get the fingertips to the ground, do it again. So here we're working our deadlift pattern, which is gonna be one of our moves further down the workout. I want you to really perfect keeping neutral spine. So it's kind of an art to be able to do that. A lot of people will round from their waist and then start this sort of motion. That is a fantastic motion if you wanna end up in physiotherapy. So instead, let's keep it strong. Let's keep the spine neutral. Think about hinging from the top of your thigh there, what we call your hip. And then as you warm up, you'll be able to get those fingertips down to the ground. Right, George? So George is six months old. He's a long-haired shepherd. He's still learning manners, so uh, my apologies. My other dog, Bella, she's behind camera. She's eight years old, and she's totally chilled, just lying there watching the people walk by. He is not so chilled. And if you've ever had a puppy, or if you have a puppy now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Last two, one more, alternating lunges, step back, reach the arms back, front knee lines up with the ankle, back hip and shoulder are aligned, feel that length happening in the hip flexor, quad, while we move through this pattern. Last four. One more, excellent, move this into a side leg lift, turn the heel so it's pointed out, toe in. We've got eight of these, three, just warming up that outer hip muscle, two, and other side, here we go. And crossover lunge, step your leg, midline of the body, Try not to hit my dog <laughs> and lunge. Other leg, good. He ran into our trailer this morning. My husband's got it, one of those utility trailers because he's a handyman. Bella ran outside, saw a squirrel, took off. So he takes off after Bella and he hasn't quite coordinated his rear end with his front end. So as he rounded the trailer, the rear end didn't quite round as well and he nailed the side of the bumper there, but the bumper is exposed metal. 
yeah, it was it was intense. It was so intense. My neighbors came running out because they thought he got run over by a car. You should have heard him scream. He seems to be fine now. <laughs> Thankfully, no blood. But he's making me kind of regret not getting pet insurance because. He's a little accident prone, this one. Four more. One more each leg. Excellent. Now get the heart rate up a little bit, jumping jacks. If you don't like the jump portion, you take it side to side with the tap, okay? So hips are gonna warm up here. As I said, heart rate's gonna get up there. Again, we're getting the body ready for the workout about to be done in about 20 seconds now. Three, two, one, shake it up. All right, our first drill, we need the booty band and one heavy dumbbell. So get yourself set up. I'm gonna go grab my bench so I'm set up for future workout, for the future of the workout. Yes, yes. Before we can even begin the workout, we have to pump out 60 squats. And we're gonna chip away at it in three different sets, okay? So let's get the booty band on. Okay, so our first set is 30 reps. Now the booty band, here is the important part of the booty band. It is trying to pull your knees in. I want you to use these muscles on the outer hip. In fact, you can palpitate and place your hands on the outer hip there. And I want you to fire those muscles up to have the knees track with the toes. So that's the whole idea. Um, I often don't hear that explained enough in other YouTube workouts, so I want you to remember that. So what you don't want to happen is, this is very exaggerated, are the knees being dragged in while you squat, okay? There's no point in having the booty band if you're gonna allow that to happen. We wanna use those outer hip muscles, what we call your glute meats, push the hips back, and perform the squat there. So we're performing the squat against resistance, keeping those knees tracking with the toes. Now, if you'd like, you can add a dumbbell to this. I may regret my decision, but I will try it for the first step and see how it goes. So we have 30 reps. Let's hope I don't lose count. You ready? Let's go. One, so push against that booty band. Two, chest lifted. Three, if you've got a dumbbell, hold it close to the body. Four, five, squeeze the bum on the way up. Six, seven, Eight, really push that tush back. Two, nine, ten. So I'm really pushing that bum back. Eleven, twelve, and then I squeeze on the way up. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Last ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest it out. Woohoo! <laughs> Say hello to those glutes. We get a mini breather. Our next set is 20. So if you want to get rid of the dumbbell, go for it, okay? Because Trust me, we got a barrel of fun after this, so pace yourself. Here we go, 20 reps, chest lifted, abs engaged. Remember, push the bum back, knees tracking with the toes, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo hoo! All right, we only have 10 more reps to go and then we can start the workout. This is what you call your cash in. You gotta cash in before we do this workout. Catch your breath just a bit. All right, last set up, here we go. 10 reps, make them the best looking squats you've done in your entire life. Go, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Was I going? Yeah, 3, 2, and 1 time. See what happens? I can't count. This is crazy. I need a math for beginners book, all right? If you got one, send it my way. Ready then, off. We have done the cash in. We can start the workout now. All right, you will need your chair for the first one or bench, whatever you're using. We are sick, sitting it back for a one-legged squat and then forward for a lunge. Timer's on, 45 seconds. We have three rounds, all right? There's a reason I'm wearing black today. It's kind of a funeral for our legs. Just a heads up. So take a look. If I'm gonna do a one-legged squat, I lift the leg up, so I've lifted my left up. I push the bum back, I sit. I drive up, now I take this left leg and I lunge forward. Now if that's too intense, one-legged one squats isn't for everybody. What I want you to do is what I call a kickstand. So I've still got, got my left foot elevated. I've got as much weight as I can on that right side. I push my bum back, okay, that left is giving me a little bit of assistance. And then I step forward for my lunge. Kickstand and back. All right, yes? All right, forgot to turn my timer on saying that I'm working out now. Okay. Here we go, I like to know what my heart rate gets up at. It's kind of fun, kind of fun for heart rate to her training. Here we go, let's, let's all start with the left leg, okay? So left leg off the ground. Now, push your bum back, sit all the way down, lift up, now lunge forward. Good, now you may have to reset and tap that toe to the ground to get your balance as you step back, totally cool. It's your workout, man, you do what you want, you just keep moving though. <laughs> So this is a double barrel of fun, squat and lunge combo on one leg. Just when you thought that lunges could not get more fun, look what I pull out of my ass, huh? When the timer goes, other leg. Oh, three rounds of this is gonna be super special. Time. I'm really hoping my Ikea bench holds up. <laughs> Here we go. Right foot lifts off. So start with the squat. Come up and then lunge. And then give yourself some respect because you may find one leg stronger than the other and you may need to do a kickstand to help yourself out on that less dominant leg. That happens. We tend to lead with the same side in life and we're not even aware of it. So movement patterns like this will show us and then they'll help strengthen the less dominant leg. Now when we're done, we'll give the legs a bit of a break with a third move for the abs. And then we go into our second round. Time, all right. Hands on your bench. Now, if you have a back to your bench, you want to go to the side so that you have free use to lean back, okay? And then from this position, we're doing a double crunch. Now, if this gets too much, what you do is bring the knees in, tap. So give me a V-sit and then just tap the toes down. Yes? That's maybe where I'm at by the time we get to that third round. Because this is also a lot of hip flexor, which also worked on the last moves. So, if you're struggling, I'm with you. So again, modification, you'll lean back, hold it back. Toe tap, tap. All right, second set, left leg lifts off. We start with the squat, move into the lunge. Right leg's working, ready, set, and go. Yeah, George has also ran into a fence too when he was chasing a frisbee. <laughs> I thought shepherds were supposed to be smart. <laughs> To give them some credit, it was one of those chain fences so you can see through it. 
But yeah, full tilt into it. He yelped like he was dying then too. Oh, time. Woo. Other leg. Hey, buddy. All right, right foot off. We've got the lunge squat. Ready, go. And then loving husband keeps stepping on the poor guy's paw because he does get really in your space and he's quiet about it so you don't know he's there until you step on him. Okay, so we've got that V sit. So we start in the V sit. Okay, we keep those abdominals contracted so we don't lose the neutral spine. And grab onto our seat and extend back and drive in. So we extend back, drive chest and knees in. Breathe. If you want to get really fancy pants, bring your arms out. Don't hold on to your chin. Oh, look at us! How fancy pants we are. Woohoo! I feel like I'm gonna fall back though. <laughs> oh, hip flexors are screaming. PJ, why are you doing this to me? I don't know hip flexors, I'm sorry. Woo! Yeah, I know, I'm stopping, sorry. Go, keep going, don't you stop. <laughs> Die. All right, last set and then we move on to more fun. Here we go. Pull the pants up, left leg off the ground. Ready? Squat. Lunge. See, heart rate's at 113. Woo! I'd like to know what my blood pressure is, but they can't do that with watches. I have low, low blood pressure. My husband has high blood pressure. We're complete opposites. Time. Yeah, he's on two different blood pressure medications. And I have to eat more salt because mine's so low. Ready? And go. But it's not fun when it's low either, so... I'll be teaching a class and get up really quick and I feel like I'm gonna pass out, which isn't really cool, right? You don't wanna go to a class and have your fitness trainer fall down in the middle of class. That's not inspiring a lot of confidence with your participants. I've only been in surgery a few times, but when I have, it takes them forever to kick me out of the hospital to get my blood pressure up. stupid exercise. Hate this exercise. Whoever programmed this, kill them. <laughs> Here we go. Chest lifted and go. Again, you can be fancy pants. Lift the hands up. I'm going to try to be fancy pants for the whole 45 seconds. Seconds now. 
We have three rounds. We're using our bench, stepping up sideways. So you can do this with or without the dumbbell. All right. With the dumbbell, really intensifies it. So if you've never done a step up before, maybe try it without. If you don't have access to a chair, well, I don't know. Next workout, they got this thing called Amazon Prime. Order yourself a chair. <laughs> I don't know, grab a stair. Do it this on the side of a stair, staircase. Okay, here's what the move looks like. Hey, George. We're going to make sure that we step firmly on it. George, I'm gonna step on you. This is, this is why I step on him. Did you see that? He went right in front of my foot. All right, you step up, tap, and down, okay? <laughs> 40 seconds, then we do the other leg. Actually, I'm gonna pull this out more. So when I do the other leg, I don't have my back to you. I can just step over, okay? I'm thinking. Three rounds. Ready, set, go. Tap, slow control down. So you're not plopping down. There's no plopping. George, I can't throw your ball now, but. Please don't drop it under my foot. <laughs> Why don't you lie down? Why don't you lie down? Yeah. Hey, see that? Told him to lie down. 11 weeks of obedience school, huh? There's money well spent. <laughs> lie down. 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 Come on, show YouTube that we can at least lie down. Oh, other side, other leg. Down, down, <laughs> and go, yay, he lied down <laughs> on his time terms though. Serious, it's been 11 weeks of obedience. We also did agility training, that was fun. We weren't good at it, but it was fun. And then I watched the Westminster Abbey show and uh, their agility, their dogs, holy cow, it's amazing. George and I would be more halftime comedy hour for that. Duh, all right, other side. Jump, bud. Our rate's gonna come up on this too. Yeah, like mine's 111. Ready, go. So step up is one of the foundation movement patterns if you're looking to build your tush. Okay, seriously, dude, you gotta get out of my way. All right, because you're really pushing through. We're extending through the hip, flexing, all that good stuff that the glutes need to get stronger. Doing it sideways here. We're gonna get a little bit more outer hip and inner thigh. And then as I mentioned earlier, we all tend to have a more dominant leg. So this is gonna work out the kinks for us. <laughs> Time. All right, other side. You're bored, aren't you, George? Sorry, dude, we're only halfway through. Ready, and go. Him and the cat still haven't made friends. He's a real jerk to my poor cat. So now there's no chance of them ever being friends. <laughs> the cat is done. now. Yes. I'm shooting my, for my IQ. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now I think my resting heart rate of 62 is more my IQ. Done. 
other side. Woo. Last leg and then we're gonna move on. My arm's getting tired, how about you? Yeah, and go. Now I'm very happy with my $32 painted, self-painted Ikea bench. Notice though that my foot's right on top of one of the legs. I'm not daring to do this in the middle of the bench. Mind you, fitness instructor falling through bench might be the only YouTube video I have that goes viral. Done! Woo! Nicely done. Grab a quick sip of water. We're moving into a deadlift pattern now. You're going to need both dumbbells. For beginners, just one of your dumbbells. Whew. I need to grab some water. Okay, George. Okay. Remember I was teaching you deadlift in the warm-up? Well, there's a reason. We got some of those to pump out right now. We have two rounds. 30 seconds on the clock. Now we're performing what's called a staggered stance deadlift. So it's going to be almost like a one-legged, but not really. So one or two dumbbells in hand. I'll show you and then away we go. Okay. I'm going to bring my working leg, so in this case my right, forward. And I'm just up on that back heel. Okay, so I've got most of my weight on that front leg. From there, same movement pattern that I taught you in warm up. Bum pushes rear, knee is soft, spine is neutral, and then I drive up and squeeze the booty on that top. So I come all the way up and give a good squeeze. All right, let's give her a try. Let's all be on the right foot, yeah? Yeah. Here we go, push the booty back, chest lifted, drive up, good. Just a little bit of weight in that left leg. Again, super important that we're not rounding the back. So that hinge is coming from the top of the thigh, the hips, not from the waist, not from the lower lumbar. Unless you want to send your physiotherapist or orthopedic surgeon on their next Hawaiian vacation. Totally up to you. But you should feel that time in the back of the leg there. Yeah? Yeah. And probably more in the top of the glute. All right, left foot forward, stagger our stance, reset the core, so pull the belly button in, come down, drive up. So when we set the core, I want you to draw the abs in, almost like somebody was going to sucker punch you, and you're bracing for that impact. That'll fire up our deep abdominals, okay? The same ones we use when we plank to help support and stabilize the spine. And then from there, we keep a neutral spine, so there is absolutely nothing being felt in the back. If you feel it in your back, please get rid of your dumbbells. Push pause if you have to. Go check your form in a mirror so you can see what your back is doing. Done. Woo. All right, here we go. Ready? Right foot, abs engaged. Again, give me that core vacuum and down. Softness in that working leg. It's not locked out. This is a tough move to get, okay? So just give yourself really slow speed so you can understand what you're training, how to move your body in space, how to keep the form. I want you to get stronger with me, not hurt. <laughs> Time. All right, other side. How you doing, George? You tired? Yeah? Rough day running into trailers? Yeah. Go. You also ran into the sliding glass, me uh, glass door. But I feel like every dog does that. <laughs> he was a really little, he was really little then. Well, he's, he doesn't seem like he, what I would call little now, but he is. He'll grow bigger. <laughs> but, yeah. Bella did that too. <laughs> Done. All right. 
one more of each, and then we are moving into that booty band finisher I promised you about. Here we go, set the core, pull the shoulders back and down, and go. Done. Okay, last leg. Softness in the knee. Really important because a lot of us have tight hamstrings, so I don't need to lock out the knee. And go. When we lock out that knee and then have tight hamstrings at the same time, we are more likely to round the sacrum, the pelvis. your chair or whatever you were stepping up on and your booty band for the next series of moves. Okay, you're seated. Booty band is going to go just above the knee here. We've got 90 seated hip abductions. Okay, so abduction. Here's our setup. You want to have the feet, the knees, apart enough so you feel resistance on your booty band already. So my, mine is quite tight so I feel it here. If your booty band is quite loose you may have to go out a little wider. So you want to feel the resistance right away. Second setup, your toes are pointed towards me the entire time so you're not going to rotate them out. From this position we're going to lean back, maybe hold on to your chair if you have that option, and you'll roll on the outer edge of your foot and pull the knees as wide apart as you can and slowly go back to that start. So we don't fling them together, we go back to the start so there's constant tension on the glute meat. Now you'll roll on the outer edge while still keeping those toes pointed straight ahead. So that's important, take a look as you do the move. Secondary move, we will sit upright and do the same thing and then the final move, we'll lean forward and do the same thing, all right? You are not going to like me during this exercise, but you will love me after and for the results. So, let's lean back, knees, okay, and toes pointed towards me. Please keep them that way. Why am I trying to start a timer? We're counting. Here we go. Ready? Hip abduction for 30. Pull out. One, two, roll on the outer edge of your foot. Three, toes pointed me. Four, five, six, abs engaged. Seven, eight, nine. 10, woo, burning already, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh my goodness, 15, 16, I don't like me right now, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, whoa, <laughs> Yeah, good times, good times on the Fitness with PJ YouTube channel. You ready? Now we're seated upright. So you've got to use a lot of core on this. So keep your shoulders above your hips, earlobes above the shoulders. Ready, set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Here we go. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Come on, you guys. Five, four. I'm with you. Three, two, one. Whoo. Oh, this is super evil. All right. Last one. We got this, you guys, we got this. So I'm gonna bring my feet in closer together and my knees closer together because my hips are burning. You might want to do the same. Lean forward, ready, and one, two. Keep those toes pointed towards me though. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, last ten, nine. Come on, you guys. Eight. We got this. Seven. Keep leaning forward. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Oh, I feel like we just ran a marathon. <laughs> All right, let's get the booty band off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, George. You have no idea the fun you just missed. Here we go. Booty band away. Away. Drop yourself down. Give your low back a bit of a stretch. Oh, let the head drop. Couple breaths here. Take the left hand on the top thigh, push and look over that left shoulder, right hand on the ground in front of you, or more in between the feet, I should say. Switch around, left hand to ground, right hand to thigh, look over the right shoulder. Release. Figure four stretch. I'll show you if you're unfamiliar with how to do it seated. Left leg, ankle on top of the thigh. Sit up nice and tall. Now place your hands on top of the shin to help pull your chest towards your shin to feel that stretch in that left glute. So this is exactly the same as when we lie down and do it like that. Okay? So nice variation. Now let's take that right knee, or left knee, pardon me, pull it towards the right armpit, and then twist the body and look over the left shoulder. So now you'll get more into the glute here. Release, other side. So thank you so much for joining me. Holy cow, awesome. Now a few things before you go, well first finish stretching with me, but second, if you enjoyed the video, I'd love a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, there's another thumb you can push. <laughs> um, second, I would love to hear from you, so please drop a comment down below. And then finally, we would really appreciate your support on our Patreon channel. If you do my workouts even once in a while, a donation as little as $3 a month will help us keep the channel going. So I hope I give you at least $3 worth of content. I've got all the information down below, but really this channel runs solely due to the support of Patreon. So we are looking for more support so we can keep spreading the word about fit and fierce over 40. Come on up, pull that knee in towards the armpit, twist, look over that right shoulder now. Release. Let's come into a standing position. We're still going to use our chair or bench, whatever you're using. Leg on top, press the hips back, come forward. Now we're going to place the weight of the body a bit on the thigh or on the calf, but not on the knee joint, okay? Getting a length here into the hamstring. And other side. Woo! I think I might be a little sore tomorrow. My apologies if you are as well. Bring the heel up to the bum, get into the quad. So leg workouts, I like to do them once a week where I'm just solely training my lower body and then I add leg drills as well into my total body workout. Again, strength training three to four times a week and that's what we truly need for women over the age of 40 to see the results we're looking for, which is increase the lean muscle tissue, increase our longevity, increase our time above ground, increase our bone density, Increase our happiness, increase the ability to move the body better. Other side, maybe you're looking to maintain your weight or lose weight, then all of this type of strength training movements will help with that. And 
and release. There you have it. Well done. Thanks for joining me on leg day. I hope to see you on another workout. And don't forget, spread the love. Spread the love. Bye.